one thing I've noticed is that uh, from all the demonstrations I've seen in structure, is that most of them, this doesn't count, I just get it ready, deal with the surface. A sphere, they deal with the surface. You're going to put the spheres together, they kiss each other like, like pool balls. But there's no merge, emergence. They don't merge. Structure is all connected. Let's see, where's my... Uh, there's a synergy. A structure is the space between another structure. There's a process of a whole lot becoming the whole. Where's my uh, so we're going to go through that. I've learned a lot from this, uh, being at the NBA, I must say. Don uh, Grinnell uh, today confirmed some of my work in a structure that we built several years ago, coming from a whole other space. So what's the universe composed of? It's composed of one thing. That one thing makes everything else. That one thing makes everything else. I think they call it uh, particle physics. <laughs> the God part. But we have to change that because particle physics isn't particle physics anymore. Because they use the term, which I found out today, they use the word particle because they really don't know what it is. It's so small that we don't know, we can't describe it, we can't go there, it's, it's such a small length that we're just going to call it a particle. But what we're going to find out today is that we can define it. We can see it. We can see, let's see, are we getting ready? Geometry. Uh, what about the, uh, we're going to do that. I'm just switching all the one computer so I can do Okay, we'll do, we'll do, I want to get the abstract up there first. Okay. Right here. This, well, let's not start with this. Let's start with this. Now, I asked quite a few people in the last few days, well, you know, of course, the tetrahedron is the smallest regular polyhedra, right? Yeah. <laughs> no one knew. No one knew. No one knew. I mean, you don't know what a tetrahedron is? Well, that was fifth grade. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to get back to some of the basic assumptions because maybe we missed something. Maybe it's not straight lines. Now, this is a tetrahedron. It's got four equal sides got six edges, four vertices, and it's considered the smallest possible regular structure. It's considered the smallest regular structure. A carbon molecule is a tetrahedron. And from that, other things can be built. Well, any system, any structure, I said, it's got to be from another structure. The inside of one is the outside of another. We have to start bending things because there are no straight lines in nature. We have created these straight lines and from the deepest part of my heart, I hope to show you <laughs> that the tetrahedron is, it hard? is not the smallest regular solid. The smallest regular solid, and this is what Don Brindle also found, which confirms what I found. This structure right here has got how many sides? Three. 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 They're all the same. It's got three edges, not four. It's got two vertices, not four. It's a regular polyhedra, and it's smaller than a tetrahedron. But it doesn't exist in straight lines. We call it a straight line. But down, 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 down into where the elemental particles are, 
there is volume between points. Yeah. Between any two points, there is a volume. This is that volume. This creates all of the rest of the regular polyhedron. This is how, this is, I, I want you to imagine a loom for a weaving a rug, and it's got a shuttlecock, it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it's got a whiff and a waff, and it keeps weaving and weaving a rug. Now I want you to imagine a cosmic loom, a cosmic loom that has a shuttlecock that moves in 12 different directions. So instead of weaving a two-dimensional rug, it weaves a three-dimensional, multi-dimensional structure, which continues to grow. I uh, guess I'm ready to start now. That was a, that was a warm-up. <laughs> All right, in particle physics, I got this right out of Wikipedia, so it's gotta be right. In particle physics, an elementary particle or fundamental particle is a particle not known to have substructure. Well, <laughs> okay, we know that this has no substructure. It can't be divided any further. Well, you might say, well, a tetrahedron, it can't be divided any further either. That's not correct. I'm going to show you. So, that is, it is not known to be made up of smaller particles. If an elementary particle truly has no substructure, then it is one of the basic building blocks of the universe from which all particles are made. Well, what does this mean? Now, if we agree that this cannot be divided any further than it is, and if we agree that is smaller than a tetrahedron. We have to do one more thing. We have to prove that the tetrahedron can be divided into smaller parts. Otherwise, this doesn't stand alone. Well, this is a ray of light, a photon, coming out in every direction, in directions like this. And it comes together and it's weaving that multi-dimensional loom and it's making all the rest of the polyhedra. But no straight lines. We got to get out of flatland. We talk about the circle that I was talking about a moment ago. It's an empty space. Not so. There is a structure within the circumference that creates that. All right, so we say, okay, the tetrahedron, well, it's, it's, it stands alone. Not true because there are no straight lines, and in between the two points are our trion rays. Our trion rays are lacing along in all these different directions, forming the other structures. So there's one thing that continues and continues as they meet at the points, begin to build more complex structures. They build tetrahedrons, but not the way we see them. They build curved ones. If I was only an octopus, I could deal with this a lot. Better. <laughs> you find that, Don, sometimes you yeah. put things together, you could use another arm. Well, that's a tetrahedron too, inverted. Part of this spinning, lacing, hold on. These are flexible. That one isn't because it's made of steel. But if we just take the fundamental parts of it, <coughs> show the abstract, please. So here's the ray of light emanating, coming out from the surface. Boom, 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 boom. And it's hitting other ones. And they're all meeting at the points where they converge. And they start building. Boom, connecting, connecting. Orbits. Everything is an orbit of another sphere. Six of these make a perfect circle. So, as the energy from the light emanates from the sun, 